All right, guys, we're here in Gainesville or whatever. We rocked in last night or whatever with that, pulling that little trailer over there. So got in here last night, got everything switched over to race mode when it made our first test hit. But we got two days of testing here. We got the Gator Nationals this weekend. We're gonna do a little grudge racing with the Sorceress. So should all be fun, but we got two days of testing going on. Thanks for watching. If you like everything, please subscribe. Thanks. What was your card? What was your number? 45A. He said he did the car, uh, fill of the form out online and he did 45 Alpha. It's probably not under Pro Mod, it's probably under Exhibition. For a first hit right off, that was really good. Uh, 105, 274. So, super happy with that. Awesome. What'd it do? 105, 274. Off the freaking trailer. Nice. No, felt good. It would have went all the way, so. Oh, yeah. No, this is freaking great. First pass at the Gators in the books. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah, all looks good, so see from there. Do the little creeping method. We got two days to creep. So it was going. Might have been moving a little bit to the left, but I mean that's I was trying to aim a little bit to the right because it seems like it always wants to go that way. But all in all. Success. We left the line, so that's the, the first goal. It's like six passes in a row. Yeah. First first goal is to leave the line. Any minute it is bound to this is the hospitality camper. The ho hospitality suite, if you will. <laughs> oh, we can sit inside and eat. <laughs> we got we a way to prop it up. <laughs> hey, can I eat here? <laughs> It's kind of like being at the Korean barbecue. Hey, somebody get a sign All out right. there. Tacos for three bucks. I gotta make a buck here. <laughs> <laughs> Another try, see whatever. Made a couple changes where we were low end. I mean, we still probably do 300 foot. Just uh, just trying to work on that low number. I mean, the high number obviously is there. We'll work on that next. But once we get that low number when we want it, we'll just keep bringing it a little bit further and further out. So, baby steps. Move the shift back. Got a little violent. Is there a vital spin? Huh? 
Uh, I just went 106. 106 for 287, but he left me before 330 there. So it shook. Put the back pad out of it. Yep. Well, six. Well, six. Yep. that shift back trying to do better with it and uh, see if it would take it well I mean at least going down the track it felt like it didn't like it so shook right there so I mean it, I mean it, if that's the cause of just the gear change or they're pushing that gear out or what is it but I mean that's that's why you're here that's why you do laps and try and sort the stuff out you try something it doesn't work you try something different so that's a typical thing whatever like if you got that too much power right in there and obviously the RPM that's where this engine is making more power so I mean it just had more power right through there and then I mean there's there's other ways to skin it I mean maybe you can take some timing out or whatever like through there to let it go through there or we just move the shift back to where we had it I mean it's trial and error so the real the real just got really pissed on the on the gear change upset it That's where the G meter just starts to go down, so. Didn't like making that gear change right freaking there. I mean, do you want to try, like, uh, rather than mess with that, try and just take a little bit of timing out right there to get through that gear change and see if that'll fix it first? Yeah, I mean, we need before to do, we go back. Need so. to do one or another, because this looks really good. I mean, that's. G meter is really nice. I mean, that's, that's just nice through there. Yeah, so I mean, just maybe we pull just a little bit of timing or whatever right and then just see. If it'll go through there before we take the yeah, shift back. Yeah. Yep, no, I agree. Okie dokie. That's why we got two days of fucking around. That's pretty good. Yeah. You know, on a stellar track that it's not very busy. That was uh, pushing us. I knew it was off. I knew it was way out. Well, there's something going on because it's. It's not. Yeah, it got it's twisted all the way, when it was it's, off. It's all the way. No, it's all the way out. Well, can you twist that end of it? Yeah, we're gonna have to be able to twist that end. Well, I think we had it on the wrong wheelie bar setting in the wrong hole position, and so it made the adjustment come out. And I think it was so far out, it it pulled it out of its thread. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to fix that. Twisted number three. Try again. It's a thing right here in the staging lanes. You got a nitro funny car next to me, and top fuel car is getting ready to make a pass. So, pretty cool. Test days are just awesome, NHRA wise. Like uh, the fact that you're running down the track, like right after they did, or right, right before them. I mean. Just a cool experience. There you go, there's a nitro launch.
mean, you can hear it go all the right over, so that's perfect. Did what we wanted to. We wanted to lay down there where it shook the tire right before that in the last pass, so. And it definitely did. I mean, uh, I don't know if you hear it on the video, but whoa, lay down and took it back off again. Yeah. That is just exactly what we wanted to do. Yeah. Felt it lay, felt it lay down and take the timing out of it. So, yeah. it. it went 104, 275. I mean, it laid right over out there, big. Oh, like, it was still a 275 right there? Yeah. So you pushed that out, and then it should have been faster than there, I would have thought. But. No, I took a touch of 10 degrees timing on it. Gotcha. On, that, on the gear change. And you, could you feel it? Because you could hear it from out here. Yeah, I felt right before the shift. That it's a whoa. Yeah, it went still at 407, so you could lean on that. And you're out of gas by then. Yeah, I stayed way out of it. Yeah, I stayed in it a little bit longer, but just to see if it would shake at another point, just to... Yeah, well, it sounded good. Power came back in and took off. No, for a fraction of a second, I said, ah, oh, just fucking run the thing all the way down. <laughs> no, no, I better not. <laughs> no, we're going we're gonna to wait. Just then lay it out there. Tuesday, test day, and there's test day tomorrow, and like... Pretty much everybody's here getting set up, so it seems like most of the teams are probably waiting until tomorrow to, um, to test. So, I mean, there's been some up there, obviously, but um, hasn't been crazy, crazy. So, stop to see old play. We're going to show it up. This is the sixth second, actually, five, seven, or seven. Yeah, okay. So, what are you doing? Uh, are you ready to line up? Yeah, we can line these up testing tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You give me the lead, and I might beat you to the <laughs> That's if you're slow on the tree. We just, we just made a little squirt and not hopped up, not nothing. And I went 213 to the 330. Damn. Yeah, we just went 270 to the 330. Well, you know what? The lead, you might be right. So that's what I'm that. saying. Maybe. And then, and then I'll probably get blown off the track, though, as you go by. But. He's getting ready to go up and make a test hit with it. So. We'll see how he does up there. See if maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can twist his arm a little bit, see if we can line up later. If he gives me the leave, and I might still be in front of it. Might still be in front of him at 300 feet. So before he blows by, probably blows me off the track. But I told him he's got to give me the leave, and then I might beat him to the 330. Go make another hit. Put her in the beam. That <laughs> sounds nerdy when you do it. Nothing. <laughs> how's, how's it go? Put it in the beams! You can do it better. <laughs> See ya. A little sand reappeared from the beach, so we better vacuum that out. No way, you can't keep anything clean around here. There's plenty of sand. <laughs> well, especially at the beach. Oh, exactly. Aiden's <laughs> vacuuming out some of that sand when we are in... Uh, we were down at the beach the other day, not the beach at the end of the track, the beach at the ocean. So, got a little sand in it. So, clean that off as it keeps going.
I think I hit the power switch and killed the power, and then, and then whatever, I turn the power back on, and then I go to hit the start button, nothing happens. So. Probably a wire came off or something. That doesn't even click or do anything, it's just something electrical. Blaming the wiring guy, Andy. <laughs> and then that'll be the blooper reel but then as I'm getting out of the car or whatever I got my foot stuck in there sideways and it was and I popped my knee out of joint so then I fell on the ground next to the car and had to put my knee back in and then she's all right but I threw a bunch of fuel at it because I wanted to see what it would do on it well it's like it's got 10 percent more fuel in it than what it had the last pass so that's probably just why it laid over right through there do you all fine? Uh, yeah, yeah. felt fine. Well, well, I went all fire 278, so I mean, it actually What's that? Slower. The wire came off. Gotcha. Here. So what did you find? Well, the solenoid wire fell off. No. Oh. This way. Huh? You know what it is, it ain't no big deal. I oh, know, I'm gonna fight for it to cool off. A certain amount of work you have to do to overcome the driver. So that's what I'm working on. <laughs> Tested number five today, so just messed around with it and everything was fine after that last one, so make some changes to it and we'll go back up and give it another whirl to see where we're at. Um, I don't think you messed with timing or anything, did you? No. So. Nope. I don't tell him. It's a secret. <laughs> It's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. Five two seventy five. Still only went four oh three. What's the law? Juice button. I picked up, you know, one ninety five. 
So you just have to get after it a little bit harder in that 330 area. Probably got a lot of timing out of it still right there. But that's all right. That's still better than the last one. So. <laughs> it sounded good out there. Yeah, it did. Another test hit done. So that was full. Should have been full eighth. I don't even know what it did. What did it do? Uh, 105, 275, 403, 195. Yeah. So it's a little, a little, a little somewhere. It's a little bright. A little slow. 105 is nice. Got out of it at the eighth. Then it was coasting, and then I wasn't going to take the front turn off. So I'm like, well, I just won't throw the chutes. It'll come down inertia or whatever, bring it down pretty quick or whatever. And then I flipped up my visor and I'm like, well, shit, the sand's coming up pretty quick. So I had to get on the brakes pretty hard. And just because I was too lazy and I didn't want to pack the suit, the chutes, actually, I didn't want to have to pick them up at the end of the track and put them in the car to then drive back. So me being lazy wasn't a good idea. I should throw the chutes. So if it was one chute, I would have thrown it for sure. But having to do two, like, Tomorrow I'll make sure to throw the shoots. Lesson learned. Uh, yep. <laughs> that was fast. I'm pretty afraid. Yeah, they had a nice A to B run or whatever with the sorceress there, so it looks like I don't know how far they carried it out. I mean maybe they carried obviously they carried it out past the A, but um, Close to a 620 on it. I mean, the leave looked good. I mean, it looked like it went a little bit left, and, but everything looked good with it. So, um, looks like they have it all sorted out. So, if they keep improving on it too, then we'll have a good time on Saturday and see how everything shakes out. So, all fun. That's, uh, that's a wrap for day one of testing at uh, Gainesville, the Gator Nationals. So, if you love stuff, subscribe.